Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on COCA. In the previous two tutorials and class activities, we have explored how we can get frequency information from COCA using the list and chart features. Yeah, And also we have learned how we can uh, make use of different searching possibilities in COCA to gain uh, or to get uh, frequency as well as types of different phrases and grammatical constructions. Now we will look at another important way uh, how we can explore corpus data, namely using the keyword in context display. It is also known as a concordance display. Um, all right, so what does concordance display look like? Um, this is a snippet of a concordance line or keyword in context display from this classic book in corpus linguistics by Biber and colleague. And you see here, um, the target word or the keyword that we are interested in is deal. And deal here is display uh, within the context surrounding deal. Yeah? The, so the context, there are the right context here and the left context here. Okay, so that's the idea of keyword in context. Um, this is a uh, Useful, uh, what a useful advance in uh, technology for exploring uh, language use. Imagine if you need to do analysis for a particular word in the old times, and I can imagine that you need to, you know, flip through all of those novel pages, hundreds of pages, with a pen in your hand, and you need to manually note down every single occurrence of the word as well as the context of those uh, words. Now, with this. Uh, uh, technological advance um, keyword in context display it provides us with a very nice display to inspect and analyze uh, usage patterns of a word okay and another important uh, feature of this keyword in context display in most of uh, corpus linguistic software is that uh, it allows us to sort the context okay uh, arrange the context in alphabetical way uh, whether um, in terms of the right or the left context, okay, whether you want to sort firstly the context uh, to the right of uh, the keyword, yeah, sort by one word to the right of the keyword, or you can sort by one word to the left of the keyword. And this kind of sorting will be dependent, um, will be dependent on your research purpose. Imagine um, you analyze a noun um, or a verb. And you want to know the typical uh, the typical pattern of object or complement that follows the verb. It is uh, more reasonable to sort the context by the right context of the keyword yeah? because you want to analyze the complement of the verb. Yeah, so that kind of uh, useful stuff that you can do with sorting. By sorting, you can get clear recurrent patterns of use of the word that you are uh, studying. Okay. Um, what we are going to do in this tutorial is that to look at how we can generate a quick display, keyword in context display in COCA, and exploring some other features of this quick interface, namely the sorting uh, feature, looking at expanded context of the concordance lines. Um, if you see from this uh, snippet, we only have like one, two, five words to the left of the keyword and around three or four words to the right of the keyword. and this are uh, the minimum context that uh, most of the corpus linguistics software could display and this software can also provide you uh, with a possibility to find more expanded uh, context of um, the word yeah more discourse more text that you can see to get the uh, general idea of what this word uh, has to do in this context and we will also explore the color coding of the context uh, in COCA. So some of the words in this keyword in context display in COCA are uh, color coded. And this color coding has to do with the part of speech of the words. And finally, um, I think this is very important too, is to show how you can export uh, keyword in context display from COCA uh, into a spreadsheet software in Excel so that you can work with that uh, keyword in context display offline. And I will also show you a bit on how you can um, organize the keyword in context display in uh, Excel. 
on another tutorial i will show you how you can explore those keyword in context display and some annotation that you make in that uh, excel file um, using some frequency um, feature in excel okay without further ado let's get started um, so go to coca login and for the keyword in context display you need to hit this plus button here click on that and you see this quick tab click on that and as usual you will get this help box on the right um, here in this white field you can type in the word or phrases that you are interested in yeah so you can not only input a single word but you can also input like you know grammatical patterns to, to search for for its uh, usage yeah um, well you can still do that uh, post tagging uh, limit for your search and this uh, line here um, indicates how you want to sort the keyword in context display you want to sort by all of the words to the right of the keywords or only one word to the left of the keyword it depends but if you leave this uh, blank like this coca will automatically sort by all words to the right uh, of the keyword yeah one two three uh, kind of sorting to the right of the keyword um, here quick 200 this indicates how many lines yeah if we see before uh, this um, these are line of context so that's why it's called concordance line uh, how many random lines do you want coca to produce for you uh, um, yeah, how many lines? Do you want 200 random lines? Or now I will only illustrate uh, with uh, 100 lines. Um, and yeah, this is how you can do that. And actually you can see, if you click on this sections um, field here, you can actually uh, select in which genre you want the occurrence of the word to be displayed. Um, now we will illustrate with all of the genre in Coca. Um, and yeah, I think we can just type in the search word here. I want to go with start as a verb. So I want to find 100 random usages of start as a verb in Coca as a whole. If we click on this keyword in context, Coca will pro produce the keyword in context that we saw before. You see automatically sorted by one word to the right, and two words to the right, and three words to the right. Okay. And if you have already done that kind of search, it will appear in this uh, context tab. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. You see, um, well, this is keyword in context display in Coca. Um, and you see uh, the words, some of the words, I think up to four words to the left and to the right of the keywords including the keyword itself are color coded um, and different colors indicate different part of speech um, how to find out what part of speech they are uh, you go to this uh, question mark here next to the resort uh, tab click on here and it will show you this uh, level of part of speech and their color uh, their colors okay so yeah turquoise for noun light green for adjective and so on okay let's go back to context um yeah so you see the 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 sorting start from one word to the right of the keyword two word to the right the second word after uh, the keyword to the right and then the third word to the right after the keyword that's the sorting um setting uh, by default in coca and then um, color coding sorting and here in this first four columns one two three four you can click in one of these columns to get expanded context of each of this line okay um, we click on here let's say in the news and coca will show you more expanded context yeah, I think around 100 or 150 words of context around this use of star rate. Okay. Um, yeah, and you got the source, information, date, and so on. 
Okay, um, and this column A, B, C allows you to categorize and highlight the line according to certain usage or meaning of the word. But I rarely use this, but I will just show you. Um, so imagine you want to um, highlight the line where the, the keyword start is followed by verb, like, like this one. Yeah, this light pink color is um, it indicating a verb. Okay, so we can highlight that with A. So A category for verb, um, like that. Um, yeah. And for a noun such as this color conversation, you can click on the B column. So it has different coloring. Okay, this is another noun. Um, this is another noun. Yeah. And for preposition, you click on C and it has different coloring. Yeah. Um, but we will not work on this quick display in Coca. We want to export it to Excel. Um, how would you do that? Um, I usually do this. So you go to this first line next to the number one, yeah, outside this line. Click there. Okay, just click. And go down up until the last line. And then go to the bottom right here. Bring your mouse to here, the bottom right, uh, in the last line. Hold shift, yeah. Hold the shift uh, button in your keyboard, and then click on there. So all of the lines, including um, this information regarding the year and the genre, are now highlighted. And we can just right click and copy, okay, and open up a spreadsheet like this, okay. Um, paste here. You have this um, keyword in context uh, in Excel, but of course um, you will lose all of the color coding. Um, right now, well, before I go further, one tip is that um, if you are still working with the, let's say, color coding of the part of speech, you can just um, leave this um, interface open. Okay, and, and when you need to color code um, or when you need to annotate part of speech of certain context of the keyword, you just go back from COCA to Excel. Yeah? It's up to you. Or you can just uh, ignore it completely and just do your own analysis of the part of speech yourself. Um, now, I want to show you how you can better organize this keyword in context. Firstly, you need to give a column name. So you go to this first row, highlight this uh, first row and right click, select insert, okay, insert, and it will give you a new row. You can type in here like ID, um, year, um, genre, and let's say file. This is the left context, okay. So the ABC columns are removed because they are not really uh, relevant here. This is the note word or the keyword. This is the right context. Okay. Um, yeah. With this, we can go to view and freeze the top row. Go to view and select, click on freeze top row. So the first row will stay intact whenever you scroll down uh, the other rows. Okay. Um, and you can also make this uh, nicer by aligning this left context there. Yeah. Click on this uh, column, the E column, and select the align to right. Um, this may be center, align to left, okay. Um, yeah. And now you can start annotating, adding some analysis for uh, the feature of usage of uh, start in, in this keyword. Um, yeah, okay, I'll show you how to do that in the next video, and I think this is all, uh, some tutorial on COCA, and I hope to see you in the class with our practical activities soon. Okay, bye-bye, um, have a good day.